Hey guys, this is for my Cancers Daily Read. How's everything going? We're going to start this off with my new cards, the full. Um, this is uh, from kaleidoscope.com. I love these cards. They're the Monopoly cards. So, so far, the full came out. Um, I'm listening to win, win or lose way, five of swords card. So, um, right now, I'm listening to Chris Brown's, I guess it's his new song. It is I Think About You. Um, yeah, that's his new song. So there you have it. Uh, the full energy, Gemini. The card fell out, Wheel of Fortune. So go, win or lose, way, which is the Five of Swords energy. Normally, Five of Swords is uh, selfish or gloating or some type of uh, desolation. But this is win or lose. Any way it goes, you're going to win or lose. And it's the Five of Swords energy. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune um, coming out. So luck is on your side. Too many cards trying to come out. The moon unknown. Uh, wishes come true. Uh, development of affection and creative energy. And then we have the lover. So I guess I will let these come out because this is a good reading so far. Uh, again, Chris Brown's song is I Think About You All the Time. So unknown. So we're just going to do it like this. Um, I'm, I'll pull one more card because uh, this is a good read, Cancer. So you got the full energy. So far, you got Gemini out here. Uh, excuse me, air energy out here. Uh, the unknown energy. Look in the sun. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to pull no more. At the bottom of the deck, we have balance and act, two of pentacles. So we have the full energy, uh, again, car, uh, air energy. We have win or lose way, air energy. We have the will of fortune. Um, and you know, the will of fortune is all four elements. And then we have the moon energy, uh, the moon card here. And, um, you know, the moon card is uh, basically Pisces energy, water, dreams, danger, attraction of the unknown and then we have uh the nine of cups which is uh water energy again which has come true uh place uh and then we have development of affection and creative energy which is us cancers page of cups energy that's more water so this is water and air to me all together um and then we have the lover's card which is card of uh uh air air energy um card of gemini you know so uh crossroads, feelings, beginning of relationship. Then we have the sun energy and the sun is uh, fire energy, which is card of Leo, clarity, uh, satisfaction, something that's spontaneous. And then we have balance and act, two of pentacles at the bottom of the day. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this. I like this so far. I don't know if you guys do or not, but um, I think today, um, and these are, these are tarot cards. I love these cards. Uh, this is, uh, you know, really good. Maybe, um, you know, like I said, this is from kaleidoscope.com. Uh, she's on, I think, uh, she's on Etsy and she's on, um, um, what is it? She has uh, on her website or whatever. So I think I ordered them from her website, which linked me to the Etsy or to Spotify or not Spotify. That's music. Um, not sure what it's called. But anyway, here we go to clarify Six of Wands energy. Uh, and the Six of Wands is basically uh, victory or achievement. Uh, so that's with the full energy. Right now, the video, her, uh, the best part is on. That's the video that's on. So anyway, go win or lose. Let's do five of swords energy. We're clarifying that. Uh, so far, this is a love reading, you know, water and fire, uh, water and um, air out on the board. Now this is an unknown. So wherever you've been at now, you know, it's going to be success. You have to take a leap with the full energy. Go. It's telling you which way to go. Win or lose, you got you got luck on your side, you know? So the full energy is here, right here. Win or lose. It's pointing towards win or lose. You got the six of wands here, which is success, you know? Look at this. Uh, we have, yeah, the high priestess energy. So whether win or lose, you went in and you're manifesting whatever it is that you want. So with the will of fortune, with luck being on the side, listen to the words. I just want to see how beautiful you are. You know that I see it. I know you're a star. Where you go, I follow. No matter how far, that's full energy. If life is a movie 
and you're the best part. You know, that's too many cards. I'll take this one, but not these uh, for the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Cups. Look at that. The Ace of Cups is here. This is all water and fire energy abundance. So uh, the Wheel of Fortune is luck and the Ace of Cups being abundance. All of these cards are trying to come out. I'm not going to look at them because, you know, I'll take them. But um, you're the one that I desire. That's the guy's part. I forget his name that originally saying that this is the live version. Let's clarify this moon unknown energy. Uh oh, the card flew. No, let me get it. It is the seven of wands, I think. Yeah, the seven of wands uh, comes out. And the seven of wands is basically uh, protection, you know, it's protection. So that's the unknown. You're protecting the unknown. And then we have for wishes come true place, the judgment card. You know, judgment is uh, transforming, renewing, resurrecting, cherished purpose. So if this is a situation where you were away from somebody, you're renewing this energy. And now for the uh, Page of Cups energy development and action and creative energy, um, you have the Queen of Cups. <laughs> that is a um, that is a empathetic, understanding, and sensitive Cancer. This is Cancer and air on the board right here. Uh, cancer, Cancer. Uh, excuse me, water and air on the board. We can say Cancer if you want to. Water, air. We have the wands. You know, we have the wands. But overall, that's clarifying. You know, uh, with fire energy. So you know that that's where we are. You know. Uh, the Queen of Cups is an understanding person. So development and affection and creative energy. This is Page of Cups energy, but the Queen of Cups is a nurturer. She's the understanding. And look at this. This is new creation. She's pregnant. You know, so whatever this is, this is something that has been going over time. And now here it is. It's time to, if you love me, won't you say something to me? Her, you know, if you love me, this is a lover's card, card of Gemini. Let's check this out. If you love me, say something. Let me write that down. You know, I think this was what the reading was yesterday, you know. And now she goes to Nothing Really Matters. It's by D'Angelo and by Lauren Hill. So if you love me, that's the name of this reading for the cancers, you know. Uh, if you love me, say something. Say something, you know, if you love me, say something. So that's where we are. Sorry, I had to write that down. So the lover's energy, this is good energy. Lover's energy, Carter Gemini. We have the death. It's ending. This end, this cycle is ending, you know, when it comes to this. It seems like, you know, the separation of it all. It's either ending or it's beginning. Which one is happening? Because the death card can be transformation, fear, of unexpected events you know this is scorpio water energy again so you are this this is this is coming to an end of it being so uh you know uh holding back any way it go you're saying something you know luck is on your side you know the moon energy the unknown so the death card comes because wishes come true place you know wishes do come true win or lose you know so for some reason it seems to me cancer and we get to this point when we start feeling some kind of way we hold back and you know here it is with the sun card the ten of swords you know it makes us sad and it makes us feel a certain way but this is coming to an end you are speaking your truth and with the ten of swords it's being defeat and hurt you're not going to feel this way no more that's why the sun energy is here and then we have the queen of wands here and the queen of wands you know she's basically you know again an intuitive friend or understanding person so we have this energy twice we have it with the queen of cups being in this is this is uh, an empathic, uh, understanding, sensitive person that can give advice. This is uh, with the Queen of Wands energy. This is a um, a, a friend, a understanding, and intuitive person. So again, these energies here is I understand. Now this is coming to an end and this is beginning. The lovers is gonna happen, which was already there, but for some reason it seems this energy was a balancing act. You know, it was balancing. It was like, okay, I'll be here. You know, I'm gonna take this leap. So this is all something coming to an end of 
being stagnant or not speaking your mind or not saying what it is. And this is why, you know, this person is singing and moving and dancing towards the judgment energy, which again is transforming. You're transforming. So there's the end of it, uh, you know, just being a one-sided thing, you know, cancer. So uh, that is how I take this, you know, whether this resonates with you or somebody that you know, this is what's happening. And now Trey Song's song is on. It's one of his new songs. It's called Circles. So that's that is where I'm at, you know, going in circles. You know, you're going in circles. So this is coming to an ending. And now this is the beginning of uh, with the lover's energy. You've gotten the advice and you've been the nurturer and you've been patient and you've been understanding. You've been intuitive, knowing that this will happen, uh, win or lose, you know. But now it's time for you to stop protecting that unknown of what could happen and start to go towards the path because wishes do come true. So if this is a situation with a lover, with a friend, with a business, with a job, that, you know, it's time to speak your mind and come up, you know? And so that's what the balancing act is there for because you're not going in circles no more, you know? And I should name that this. So I look, I got all these. I think yesterday was, if you love me, but this is circles. I think that's what we're gonna do for the cancer is going in circles. Five of Pentacles is struggle. So you've been struggling with the, at the bottom of the deck. You've been struggling uh, going through this. If you're looking for cl closer, don't take, if you're looking for closure, don't take your clothes off. We go in circles. We keep going in circles. So Five of Pentacles is, is a uh, struggle, you know, some type of struggle. It said, we just gonna do this over and over until you end this. You see what I'm saying? You end it meaning speak your mind, speak what it is that you want because we're gonna keep going in circles. It's gonna keep happening. I'm gonna keep letting you pass go, you know, because this is success when we're together. However, win or lose, I'm manifesting for myself and for this love. I'm gonna wait and be patient and be understanding, but luck is on my side. So whatever I go is gonna, whatever I do is gonna be abundance. But then you have the moon energy of unknown and the seven of wands here protecting it, protecting this unknown energy of this person or this place or this thing and wishes do come true. So I have the judgment energy with me and I'm gonna go ahead and cherish uh, this purpose and resurrect it and renew it and uh, be refreshed knowing that this is the pure energy and I'm going to transform it into development of act, uh, affection and creative, creative energy. And so then the nurturer comes out with the queen of cups and the lovers is here. The energy is there. However, we just going to keep doing this over and over until I actually come up to what it is that I want. And I have to be bold enough. So I'm going to end my silence so we, we can stop going in circles, you know. And then here it is, the sun being here, the sun energy. This is a good reading. It's vitality. It's success. Success again with the uh, six of wands. It's vitality. It's success, you know. And then we have the ten of swords. No more. We're ending this. We're ending, excuse me, we're ending the affliction, the tears, the feeling defeated every time because you keep letting this person pass go instead of saying what it is. So you're ending that. So that's where this Ten of Swords energy is coming. And then here it is, the Queen of Wands comes, another intuitive, creative, you know, intuitive understanding friend that you've been, but you're not, you don't want to be a friend anymore. You want to be a lover. You want to be loved. And so, you know, it's like, baby, we just cannot close that door. The love that we got right here is too real. Can you take me back instead of going back and forth? Unless we, we cannot have closure unless we're sure. So that just, I mean, I don't know. You know, like I told you, I was gone for a minute because my energy was bad, but I'm coming around and it's just like, I see why. So, of course, I'm going to pull from the romance angels that because if we're looking for closure, don't take your clothes off. No matter how hard we try, we can't. I couldn't. I didn't hear that one. We keep going. In circles. I didn't hear the last the little hook of it. You know, keep going in circles. 
Are we just gonna keep doing this over and over, over and over, over and over again? We're going in circles. And look at this, let's see what came out. Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. We're gonna keep doing this over and over until you end this and say exactly what closure you need or what you're gonna do in order to move forward. One more, one more card. I mean, this is the end of this reading for me. Uh, you know, I don't know if it is for you, but it tells me finances is ca and careers. Fin finances and career. Financially, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. It's because you're not financially where you need to be. And this other person may be looking at you a certain way, like, what are you doing? And you're like, la, 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 with the cancer energy, I'm manifesting things. Look, I'm manifesting this. I'm manifesting this. I'm not, you know, win or lose any way it go. You know, I'm not holding on to my finances. I know that it's going to happen. So hold on one second. Okay, Cancer, so, okay, Cancer, so there we have it. Um, sorry, that was my nephew that just came over, but there you have it. This was a good reading. Um, I think we're just going to name it Circles. Uh, I could name it If You Love Me, Say Something, but I think Circles, I don't know. I'll decide when I figure, when, when I get to downloading this, but um, Circles is a good thing. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, Jen, Janae Aiko is on. It's 10,000 hours and says, have you ever loved someone? It's a good song. All right. Have a nice day, you guys.